Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Sassy, and today I'll be showing you how to beat the easter egg, how to build the shield and the scavenger, and how to get all the hats in the Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies map Ski Resort. I stream Custom Zombies on Wednesdays, so subscribe if you're interested. And now without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing you'll need to do is obtain the snow globe. Head inside the ski lodge and interact with the green book on the bookcase. This will open up a secret room and you can pick up the snow globe from the desk inside. Next, you'll need to collect souls in the four soul boxes around the map. After picking up the snow globe, a blue ring will show up indicating where the soul box is. You'll need to collect souls in this order. The first soul box is located on the first floor of the ski lodge. Once the first soul box is done, head upstairs and by the door to outside. The next soul box will be on the right. The third soul box is right by Electric Cherry, and the last one is near Speed Cola. In order to collect the souls, you must be standing inside the ring. It doesn't matter how far away the zombies are when you kill it, you just need to be inside the ring. Once all four soul boxes have been completed, the key to the ski lift will drop. Before you use the ski lift, you'll need to turn on power. Head to the building at the top of the mountain and you'll find the power switch on the top floor. You can now use the key on the ski lift at spawn. Then pay 500 points to take the ski lift up the mountain. You'll need to pick up a pair of skis to ride the ski lift. Two are found in the ski lodge, one is near Electric Cherry, and one is near Speed Cola. When you take the ski lift, you'll need to shoot the six snowmen as you're heading up the mountain. If you've shot all six snowmen, you'll hear this sound. If you miss one, you'll have to use the key on the ski lift to spawn the snowman and try again. You will now find the ghost of a keeper protector up the escalator in the building with power. You will need to escort him to the graveyard, located not far from Speed Cola. Walking near him will start the escort step. You will need to stay very close to him to keep him moving. If you move too far from him, you'll hear this sound, and you'll have to try again next round. After you've guided the keeper, head to the top of the mountain. You will now need to ski down the mountain, making sure to ski between all the poles. If done correctly, you should hear this sound, and you can pick up the gondola key by Quick Revive. Use the key on the panel at the top of the escalator. Doing so will start a lockdown, and you will need to survive until the gondola arrives, approximately one minute. Once you've completed the lockdown and have 25,000 points, you will now be able to head to the boss fight. Before you go, you may want to build the shield, so here's how to do that. In order to build the shield, you'll need to find three parts, the door, the dolly, and the lights. The door is found in the building with power, either by the Christmas tree on the first floor, by the window up the escalator stairs, or in the room with power. The dolly is found in the town, either on the opposite side of the building from Stamina, by the carts across from Speed Cola, or on the other side of the wall from Speed Cola. And the lights are found either on the barrel by Stamina, on these logs up the slope from the ski lodge, or on the bench by the second soul box location. Once you have all three parts, you can build the shield at either build tables. One is located in the ski lodge, and one is in the building near Jug. You may also want to build the scavenger, so here's how to do that. In order to build the scavenger, you'll need to find three parts. The magazine, the scope, and the body. The magazine is found in the ski lodge, either on the bench to the left of the large Christmas tree, on the counter near Double Tap, or on the chair to the left of the build table. The scope is found near Electric Cherry, either on the crate to the right of Electric Cherry, on the barrel down the stairs from Electric Cherry, or on the barrel across from Electric Cherry. And the body is found near Jug, either on the barrel down the stairs from Jug, or on the barrel across from the build table. Once you've found all three parts, you can build a scavenger at either build tables. One is found near the ski lodge, and one is in the building near Jug. There are also three hats you can get on this map. The reindeer hat, the snowman hat, and the Santa hat. For the reindeer hat, all you need to do is kill enough reindeers. When you complete it, you'll hear this sound, and you can pick up the hat from the ski lodge. It will be on this mannequin head. The reindeer hat gives one-third damage reduction from reindeer. For the snowman hat, all you need to do is shoot all the evil snowman around the map. The evil snowman will spawn after you do the easter egg step where you shoot the snowman on the ski lift. After that step is done, all the good snowman will turn evil and you can shoot them. There are nine snowmen around the map. One is found at spawn near Quick Revive. One is right outside the ski lodge near where the second soul box was. One is next to the building near Stamina. One is down the stairs from Electric Cherry. One is outside the map on the slope between Speed Cola and Stamina. One is through the window in the building behind Speed Cola. 
One is near the red jump pad thing not far from Jug. One is near the entrance to the power building. And one is at the top of the ski loaf to the left of the room with power. Once you've shot all nine snowmen, you'll hear this sound. And you can pick up the snowman hat from the ski lodge. It can be found on the railing to the left of the build table. The snowman hat gives increased sprint duration and increased movement speed. For the Santa hat, you will need to use everything at least once. This means you'll need to build and equip the shield, build and equip the scavenger, buy a gobble gum, buy a perk, use the ski lift, ski down the slopes, and use both traps. The escalator trap is found in the building at the top of the mountain, and the snowblower trap is found right near where the second soul box was. Once you've done everything, you'll hear this sound. And you can pick up the Santa hat from the couch in the ski lodge. The Santa hat gives plus one hit increase and increases sprint duration. Once you're ready for the boss fight, head to the gondola and pay 25,000 points to head to the boss arena. Once there, place the snow globe on the cement table to start the fight. There are four phases to the boss fight. You'll need to shoot and destroy all four buttons on the snowman to complete each phase. I highly recommend using the scavenger on the buttons. It does a lot of damage to the boss. I also recommend having a good gun to take care of the zombies. We both had a Mark III ray gun, which worked really well for us. After shooting all the buttons, you'll need to keep fighting the zombies for a period of time before the buttons respawn and you'll have to destroy them again. And once they respawn, there will be a max ammo that you can pick up from the table where you place the snow globe. In the first phase, the snowman will just throw snowballs at you. The next phase, he throws snowballs and spawns these ice walls. The third phase, he throws snowballs, spawns ice walls, and blows ice. If you get frozen from the ice breath, just keep jumping to escape. The final phase is again everything he's done in the previous three phases. Beating the boss will teleport you back to spawn and reward you with Perkaholic. And I also recommend going for the Easter egg song. All you need to do is interact with the three teddy bears around the map. One is by Electric Cherry, one is across from Jug on the bench, and one is near the stairs that lead to power. Getting all three teddy bears will play the song Zombie Bells, sung by the original zombie crew. And that's it! I'll be doing more easter egg guides in the future, so subscribe if you're interested, leave me a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!